Hey guys, welcome back to Makeup with Destiny. Today I'm going to be doing a challenge video and this is kind of an odd challenge, but I really wanted to do it. It's doing your makeup in reverse. I originally saw this video on Nikki Tutorials, which I will link down below if you guys have not seen it yet. But I am super nervous to do this video because I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but we will see. So the challenge is to uh, start with whatever the last process of your original makeup routine is. So if you start with a setting powder or a setting spray, then you would do that first. So with that said, let's jump right into this video. So I do use a setting spray. So we're gonna start with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. I've never used this as a primer, but we'll see how it goes. And then next, I think I'm gonna go in with lips because that would be one of the last things I do in my normal makeup routine. And for the specific lipstick that I picked, uh, I do go in with a glitter on top. So I guess we'll start with that first. And usually I just take this in the middle of my lips. And dab it around. All right, we have our glitter on and we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Lipstick in Sellout. And we'll just stick that on. So I guess the purpose of the glitter is not a thing anymore. It served no purpose. You can see where I got it like outside of my mouth. And then I think, let me think. Mascara, because I would do my lashes. So let me get my mascara. So I would go on the bottom of my lashes last. And then I would do my top lashes, but I'd obviously have lashes on but we'll just put it on and then we'll put our eyelashes on okay and then I would put lashes on and then I think I'd curl them I'm already confused <laughs> so I actually can't remember the brand name of these lashes but these are gonna be the lashes I use and I'm just gonna use the baby wispies because I have used them before and I only use my eyelashes about twice before I throw them away. And I am gonna go in with my favorite eyelash glue, the Duo Brush On Adhesive. Okay, so you guys can Tell that I am obviously wearing my fake lashes. And I think it's this part that bothers me the most that you can see it. So we're gonna go in with some eyeliner, which we would have obviously put on before this if we had been in our normal makeup routine. So I'm gonna go in with the pretty vulgar uh, in the blacklist. And I am just using a angled liner with spoolie from the Sephora collection. And let's, I guess I'm just gonna put it in my inner corner and up because if I go up here, I don't know. Well, we'll just go all the way with it and see if it turns out great or horrible. All 
All right, so the hardest part about this was definitely going around my eyelashes and trying to get right in the inner corner over here. As you can tell, they don't really match, but we're gonna go with it and we're just gonna continue because I don't think I could have done any better. It's just the eyelashes are so chunky that I can't get around them. So we'll just continue on. I think next we are going to go into eyeshadow and we're gonna start with the lower lash line. I am gonna go in with the Nudie Patootie palette by Laura Lee and we're gonna go into the lower lash line with uh, streaking and reveal. We are going to start with our Sephora smudge brush. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of hurts because my brush keeps getting stuck in my lashes and it's pulling on all that mascara that we put on. All right, oh shoot, you know what I forgot? Is the inner corner the something like sparkly and white? So let's go in. We'll just go right back in with our smudge brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of Stark and put that on the inner corner. All right, and now I'm going to go in with, I think we'll go in with something maybe more dark. We'll go in with Al Natural and we're gonna put that on the inner corner up here. And to do that, we're just gonna use the Sephora concealer brush. So this feels extra weird just because I would normally put like a shade underneath in order for the sparkles to kind of come out more. And it kind of looks just like a chunky mess over here. And all of that eyeliner work it was pointless to do because it just covered it right on up. <laughs> but next we're gonna go into a darker shade. So we'll just go on in with Nikki Nikki. And we are gonna use our eyeshadow brush from Sephora to do that one. As you can see, it's not really blending <laughs> that great because this color is supposed to be over this color and I kind of got all over my eyelash too. But next we're gonna go in with what I would have originally put all over my lid on the inner corner and in my crease and we're gonna go in with a strip. All right, and I think that we are done with eyeshadows. And next, I believe would be, I think I do my brows next. So we're gonna start off with the Brow Gal Brow Gel. And I think this color, and you know what, it doesn't say the color on it. So, let's put it on. Right, and then we're gonna go in and fill our brows in with the Brow Define and Fill Duo by Maybelline. I honestly thought my brows were gonna come out way worse than they actually did, but they came out pretty good. All right, next, what would I do next? Next is gonna be probably the weirdest part of this video, which is my face. So we're gonna put highlighter on first because that is what I would do last for the rest of my face. I'm just gonna go in with my Tardiest Pro, Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter and 
It's in the color Sparkler. I usually wouldn't put highlighter on like this, but since it's going on first, does it really matter? All right, and now I've got all of my highlighter on, we are gonna go in with contour. Blush. I do blush next, so we'll just go in with my Benefit Blush Bar, and we'll just go in with my favorite color, which is Dandelion. This feels so unnatural. Ooh. It's just making my skin look red. Like I got a rash. See, looks like I have a rash. Now that we look red, I guess we'll just go in with our contour because I don't know if there's any fixing this rashy red look I have going on right now. which we'll just go in with Hula from the same palette. And now our forehead is looking a little muddy. Ooh, look at what I did to my highlighter. It made it look like mud. Like a splotch of dirt right here. Weird. I think we are as blended as we are going to truly get at this point. All right, so we'll just go in with, I think next I would do some concealer. Yes, because that would be my second step. Oh no. No, we're gonna go in with foundation. I just confused myself. So, we'll go in with some foundation, and then we'll go in with concealer. So, just. And I am using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this one is in medium. Neutral. And with this foundation, I do like to uh, kind of build up. So any areas that I find that I've missed, I'll just go back on. This feels so weird. Like I don't want to touch the contour part or where I put my blush on. Oh, she is looking a little cakey and a little streaky. But that highlighter, I think, is still showing up. But next, we are going to do the concealer portion. And we'll just go in with my Maybelline New York uh, concealer in Fair. And we'll just... Stick her on. Man, I hope it doesn't ruin the eye look because I kind of don't hate it. You guys know what? I'm not hating the skin portion as much as I thought I would. It actually didn't come out that horrible looking. And now that we're at the end of this look, I know in Nikki tutorials that she used a 
uh, spray on primer. I thought that was a little unfair. So we're going to go into with the Cover FX Blurring Primer and see how our skin turns out. Because she's looking pretty good right now, but maybe not for long at this point. <laughs> oh look, I wiped it all off. Look at my hands. <laughs> all right guys, here is the completely finished look. I'm not as mad about the eyes as I thought I'd be. Um, my skin, after putting that primer on, is not as pretty as it was before, but that's okay. And my lips have glitter everywhere, but not in all the right areas that I actually wanted it and intended for it to be in. But this is how you look when you do your makeup backwards. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed a video like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you guys have any suggestions on things you want me to do, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.